Let's talk about abortion in livestock farming today. Yes, abortion. I once met a farmer who said, Nadia, I didn't think abortion exists in the livestock industry. And I loved, I said, my dear, these guys are just like us humans. Everything we go through, they go through. Miscarriages, abortions, and I mean, one of the most profitable pens right here at the Semencia Learning and Development Farm, the lactating pen, filled with healthy mamas and their babies. Today, let's go glean such valuable knowledge and education from our farm manager, Godfrey, as he takes us through what causes these abortions in livestock. How do you prevent them? Because see, those babies, they are your return on investment. They are your profits, and you need to guard them with all your strength. So hey, follow me. If you are not following farming in Africa, this is the kind of important information you are going to be missing. And I need you to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend that we exist on all social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. Let's go and learn. Fred, I came to you today okay. because I met a farmer. I've met two people actually. Okay. One being a farmer who told me she has no idea that abortion or miscarriages exist mm. in this business of ours. Yeah, happens, yeah. And number two, I met one who complained bitterly of frequent abortions at his farm. Okay. I believe these people are watching and there are people in similar situations. So today, take us away. First okay. of all, what is it? and what causes that so that we can identify those causes and avoid them. Okay, all right. So abortion in goat or livestock farming yeah. is a termination of pregnancy. So it means when an animal is pregnant, it mm -hmm. suddenly loses its baby or, wow. the, or the fetus. Right? Before so the time before of the delivery. Before the time of delivery actually even I happens. See. So that's actually abortion in livestock farming. It's caused by several factors, right? Mm -hmm. So it involves our management practices, the feeding, mm. the medications that we give them. I see. All these can cause abortion in livestock, right? But um, the first point I will talk about is inbreeding. Okay. Right. Mm. So if you breed um, a, a, a male mm -hmm. that gives birth to its kid, a female mm -hmm. yeah. that's inbreeding, like crossing from your own children yeah right yeah. so if you do it that way you can cause so a um, son shouldn't be allowed to cross the mother no it's, 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 it's bad yeah it's very bad yeah and also the father should not be allowed to cross its kids yeah right? yeah yeah so yeah that's basically inbreeding so when you do that um you can have abortion i see or do, even if the mother carries the kid to the delivery stage and it delivers yeah you can have the um some deformities of the kid, it can also come out be not strong enough to even survive. Yeah, right? very weak. So if you do inbreeding, mm -hmm. that can also be a point for um, miscarriage or abortion in goods or livestock farming. So you need to avoid that so wow. that we can have strong kids, yeah. strong mothers as well. Yeah. If that happens to mad, um, goods kids, they become traumatized, like they become more stressed. Mm. Even if you don't take it, they might not gain their um, condition good condition back on because they'll be thinking mm -hmm. a lot they're also yeah. like human they have senses they will yeah. sense that something has gone off from them uh, so yeah so if that happens actually affects the kids um the mothers the mothers yes yeah. yes so yes yes that's the first point um wow for the abortion yeah so before you go on to the next point let's add the remedy so okay. that we just know the cause mm -hmm. and the solution to it yeah give me a practical way to avoid inbreeding godfred okay so if Let's say Father A mm -hmm. and Mother A crosses yeah. and they give birth to C, which mm -hmm. is their kids. Yeah. The C, which is their kids, and it's a female, mm -hmm. or if it's a male, it's not allowed to cross its sibling. If it's a male, it's not allowed to cross its sibling. Mm. Right? And then the father is also not allowed to cross the kids. Yeah. The father that you have is supposed to cross only the mother. Mm to avoid inbreeding. Yes. That's the simplest way to avoid it. That so fathers shouldn't cross their own kids. No. Siblings shouldn't be allowed to cross themselves. No. That reminds me, he said they are just like us. When the mothers lose their babies, you see the behavioral changes. Yeah. They feel it, they know what has gone on. So please, let's keep that in mind. And what I was going to say is incest. Incest of any form, 
say avoid it at your farm. Yes. I think that's one basic way to understand inbreeding. Yes. Yes. How do you understand incest? Go and read on it. That's knowledge and understanding. Same thing applies at your farm. Don't let siblings cross uh, cousins. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just avoid that, yeah. okay? And separate them as much as possible. Pens for females, pens for males. That's why here the mothers at a point we separate their kids from their mothers and all of that. So please do your due diligence as well to avoid it because what he said is very, very important. What next course can you talk about for me? All right, so we can also talk about um, plant poisoning. Wow. Right, so maybe a farmer will say, oh, my goods graze on this field for like, anytime they're pregnant, wow. they have abortion. Yeah. That can also cause it. There are some plants when they eat, mm. they get abortion. So we need to make wow. sure if that continues to happen, you yeah. need to, the, the place that they graze, you yeah. need to take a very look at the plants over Monitor there. Monitor it closely. Monitor, yes. So there are some plants that are not good for them. I so see. So if, if that happens, um, then it means you need to avoid them from yeah. grazing from that side and then you find another place for them. So plants poison because goods mm -hmm. like to eat different, they like to select yeah. weeds to eat, right? Yeah. So during the selection, they might take in something that is no good for them. Yes. That can also cause abortion. Oh, yeah. interesting. See, this one, the remedy is for you to, <laughs> for you to observe. Oh, yes. because, because definitely one will go off mm -hmm. and another one and yes. another one, oh, yeah. God forbid. Okay. But the more you monitor, the more you know to avoid that particular grazing field, okay? Yeah. And maybe hopefully you'll be able to identify the plants and chop it off as well. Yes, yes. Wow, yeah. thank you for that. That's really eye-opening. Yeah. Let's take a quick pause to subscribe to the Farming in Africa YouTube channel if you haven't done so. And I really believe you are following us on our Facebook platform as well, on LinkedIn, on TikTok, and on Instagram. If you do that, it would help us to reach many more people with similar interests like yours. Please enjoy the rest of this very educative discussion. What's the next um, course you can talk about? All right, so we have minerals um, and vitamin deficiencies also. Mm, a big cost. Yes, so when they are pregnant, you need to make sure you give them the right feed mm. right from pregnancy to they deliver. Yeah. But there are some um, animals when they don't get that vit uh, minerals, if they become deficient in some of the vitamins, mm -hmm. they will have abortions. Right, mm. so vitamin A is very important for them. Yeah. If, they, if they are not getting that, the immunity of the kid is not going to be that strong not enough, at all right so they're go going to lose them during the pregnancy period so yeah. we need to make sure what we feed our animals are the right meat are in the right nutrient pro proportions for them yeah. right and also we don't need to stop it so don't say i'm giving it to them to be able to get pregnant once yeah. they get pregnant you stop yeah you need to continue on that the routine that you start you started with them there before they got pregnant mm -hmm. continue that to the deliver wow right, so that's very important what we feed them is more important when they are pregnant and talking about feed for me that reminds me of the various supplements we advocate that you feed your animals with we always tell you everything we practice here we share with you here we are big on the livestock feed, which is just a supplement feed, but it's a complete meal filled with all the necessary minerals and um, vitamins they need. And the salt lake or the mineral block, guys, now farming in Africa produces our very own. See, we make it, we use it, you can trust it. Yeah. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I always say we stand out because we don't just talk farming, we live it. We are in one of our pens. We feed our animals that. That block, it's a power block, and I need you to get some for your animals as well. I would end on this particular point by reminding you that when your animals are pregnant, it's just like how pregnant women take vitamin supplements. Yeah. There are a lot of good brands out there. I'm not marketing for any, but you do know the brands the pregnant women take. It's the same thing for your animals. Please make sure you give them the needed vitamins and minerals they need since they can't get all of it from the natural foraging around, okay? Please give me two more points. I know you are very busy this <laughs> afternoon, yeah. so you can go back to your other duties. All right, so we talk about stress. Ah, stress. Yes. I see. Yeah, so mostly stress sometimes comes from the people that are handling, them. handling the animals. Mm. Right. So if you like to hit them with sticks mm. for them to go out to graze, yeah. that is not good for Please for don't do that. Animal. Don't do that. So once it's pregnant, you need to leave it in, in us, um, its own space. Mm. Allow it to 
do whatever he wants to do. If he wants to lie here, allow it to lie. Wow. Right? But don't be hitting it. If he becomes more stressed, yeah. he's definitely going to have abortion. Hmm. Right? So that's also very important. Hmm. When they're pregnant, we make sure we treat them very well. We handle them with care yeah. um, because they are our profits. They are profits, yes, yes when literally. They do that, that's where we get our monies from. Yes, yes, so yes. So we need to make sure when they are pregnant, we don't stress them with stakes, running over them, like go this way, um, wow. trying to catch them. Don't transfer things. your anger to our <laughs> to our precious animals. Yes. Please don't do that. If you are angry, go cool up somewhere, recover, and come back to them. You know, it hurts me when I see herdsmen mm -hmm. with these huge sticks Six, in yeah. their palms hitting these animals. I feel like. Can't you see the animal is in yeah, pain? Yeah, so even the training that you give them, they will know once you raise their stick, they know they're not coming to the side, right? So the training that we give them yeah. also helps us so that we wow. don't be hitting them with sticks and those kind of stuff. So if you hit them a lot, they might have abortion. They would, yeah. they, they would miscarry the yes, baby yes, they are yes, carrying. Yes. Please be gentle with these precious animals. Please and please, they feel everything we feel, including pain. Have you seen a goat cry before? <laughs> I think their normal cry is what they are. <laughs> they cry all the time. Have you seen their tears before? No, really. If you see tears, it means there is something wrong with that animal. <laughs> see, we're all learning. Yeah. At least they cry. I really wanted to make a point that you beat them out, you see tears. My girlfriend says he hasn't seen tears. Yeah. So please be gentle with them, okay? Please and please be gentle with them. One strike might affect the profits they are carrying and you would lose. If you are angry, get off the scene. Go cool off and come back. Okay, last point, so that today's right. production is not meant to be a long one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have some important <laughs> announcements yes. for them. All right, so the last point will be separation. Ah. Right, so once you confirm pregnancy, mm -hmm. you separate them from aggressive animals. Ah. Right, there are yeah. some goats, you see them, they are bully. <laughs> they will bully. There are bullies <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> Godfrey, <Yes>. everywhere. <laughs> right, especially when they are feeding. So once you <laughs> notice that there is one animal that always <laughs> hits the other, yeah. separate that one animal because that's just one. You yeah. separate it. Also, you make sure once you confirm the pregnancy, you separate the, the males from mm -hmm. the females because yeah. they mostly come close to them when they are on heat. That's mm -hmm. when they will pamper them. But if they are crossed, they will definitely hit them mm. when they are feeding. So you need to separate the males from the females once yeah. you confirm pregnancy. And also the other females that are not pregnant, mm -hmm. right? You separate them. Make sure your pen has only the pregnant animals. Yeah. yeah. So that they yeah. know that they are all in the same condition. They are, yeah. This one is not going to hit this one or that. Wow. So you make sure you separate them. So separation is very important wow. once you confirm that the, your animals are, are pregnant. Oh, Godfrey, I can't thank you enough. See, every time I meet you, I learn a lot and it helps us to evolve in this industry. You've carried us through the various courses of um, abortions in the livestock uh, industry. You started off with what? So inbreeding. Inbreeding. Yes. Yeah, so you talked about just the points. Yeah. Inbreeding. You talked about deficiencies in um, minerals and vitamins, vitamins. you yeah. talked about uh, so we have the stress also and plants poisoning plants poisoning. and the fifth one yeah. is the separation you've got that explanation please as much as possible separate your pregnant animals from the rest of the flock to, uh, to prevent bullies and aggressive um, animals you know who might kick them and cause um, abortion in them remember the treasure they are carrying is your profit as a farmer so please by all means take very good care of them i'm nadia this is our ever knowledgeable godfrey farm manager and we came to you all the way from the semencia learning and development farm i want you to do one thing for me before we sign off i always say that this is one of the most generous agri channels ever in the world we don't gatekeep information from you this info you would pay thousands elsewhere to get it all you have to do for us is to tell others about us, okay? Even if they don't practice farming right now, see, they will be thinking of it anytime from now. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, to like, and to share all of our videos for other people to benefit from freely. In this day and age of social media is the least you can do for us. And hopefully I will catch you one of these days right here at the farm as you gain hands-on practical uh, knowledge and farm management practices, practices. from Godfrey and the rest of the team here. We love you so much. Godfrey, yes. thank you so much You're again. Bye-bye to our people. Bye. Bye. Thank you.